All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you guys some tips and tricks that I use to get AirDrop working on my iPhone and my iMac so that they would talk well together and I could use this awesome feature of AirDrop. Um, I was having some issues with it. If this worked for me, maybe it'll work for you. Before we begin, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications so you can get notified for future videos. I'd love to have you back in the next one. Okay, so the first thing we're going to check is we're going to go right here to settings. All right, and then you're going to go to screen time. And then right here on screen time, you're going to content and privacy restrictions. <clears throat> you're going to want to make sure that that tab is on. I had that on off and I think maybe that might have prohibited airtime from working. So make sure that that is turned on and you're going to go to allowed apps right there and then make sure that your airdrop feature is turned on right there. Okay, so that's option number one. Okay, so the next feature that we're going to check is going to be settings. And you're going to go over here to general and then you're going to go to airdrop right there sorry airdrop and you're going to make sure that that setting is set on everyone uh, so that way it can be discovered by uh, anything so make sure that that setting is set are, are set on everyone and try that that's option number two okay so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to try this you're going to swipe down on the no, oh, not that one swipe down on the right hand side of your phone and these three icons that are lit up here turn those off like that so that they're all off and then turn them right back on maybe wait a few seconds turn them back on it kind of resets them and then try that see if your airdrop works and if not we'll try another option Okay, next option is you're going to tap settings again. You're going to go down here to general. You're going to scroll all the way to the bottom to where it says reset. You'll tap on reset and you're going to reset network settings right there. All right, you'll put in your password. Okay, and when you put in your password, this box comes up, reset network settings. You'll tap on that and let it go through its proper channels. Okay, so the next option is going to be to reset all settings. So we're going to go here to general. We're going to go, yeah, right there, general. Back down here again to reset. And then there's reset all settings right there. You'll put in your password again. And then reset all settings pops up on the bottom. You'll tap that and then let it go through all its proper channels again and see if that fixes it. Okay, so the last thing you wanna check, and this is the thing I think that really worked for me, was restart your iPhone, power it all the way down, power it completely off, power off your Mac or your MacBook, whatever uh, device that you're using there, power them both off completely, restart them, and then try it again. I did that step. I did a couple of those other steps. I mean, try them all. And then finally, I was able to get my airdrop uh, to work and have this particular resource available to me again uh, because it's a um, it's a lifesaver sometimes whenever you're, you're transferring off a lot of footage off your phone and putting it onto your Mac. So this worked for me. Hopefully it works for you. If it did, make sure you throw a thumbs up on this video. Maybe subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you back in the next one. Thanks.